Someone's concerned that you're doing well without them. They're concerned because they were in denial about the connection they had with you and now they're feeling they should have never left. This is someone who is waking up with you on their mind, daydreaming about you, realizing something was just unforgivable. Someone knows that their actions towards you had no true reason or meaning, and they're struggling to make sense of the choices they've made. This is someone who is trying to figure something out. They want something with you to work out, or they're wanting to step out of the situation that they're in. This is someone who never truly wanted to let go, but I feel they didn't do enough to stay either. This is someone who feels they can't move on. This is someone who is emotionally attached, yet mentally drained as well. Hmm. This is someone who is trying to, or starting to see something differently. They're spending time to themselves because they feel like a clown. This is someone who's feeling like a clown or feel like someone is clowning them. Hmm. Someone feels like they clown themselves for breaking an unbreakable situation or bond with you. I feel someone did a lot to destroy a connection even though you try to help them see a truth, yet this energy just wasn't listening. Now, this energy is feeling like a clown and standing alone. Standing alone even when there are those surrounding them, this energy regrets making assumptions about you. Someone regrets making assumptions about you or purposely making you look bad. Someone realizes now they're the reason for destroying the connection. They feel defeated. Someone is feeling defeated as the cat is now out of the bag when it comes to someone who has become a black cloud in their life. So someone is feeling defeated because they realize whatever they gave into or invested in has become a black cloud now something dark in their life. This could even be uh, attached to a false energy or a sneaky link that they now feel stressed out about. This is someone who is stressed out, frustrated, thinking about how they clown themselves by overlooking you. Someone regrets mixing business with pleasure or testing the limits because they're unable to come out of this dark headspace. Yet I still feel they're stuck on you. Someone still has some childish behaviors here. This is someone who is still attached to you in some type of way. You're, there might be, they may be doing something childish in a childish way to get what they want. Someone's still stuck on your energy and they may be taking the easy way out or the college way out to get what they want. But I feel whatever that it's about to take place will leave everyone in total shock, even them. But I feel they're about to make some choices and they don't really care who get hurt in the process. This is cutthroat energy when it comes to an outside party, a third party, someone they feel now is annoying. This is competitive energy here where someone is now seeing their true colors. Someone is now seeing the true colors in a situation. And it's very triggering. Someone is very triggered by what they're dealing with because they know they created a lot of distance and silence in the past. This is deceitful energy where someone may have blindsided you. Now they're frustrated and angry because now they feel like you're playing hard to get or you're just no longer interested. I feel you not being interested in them is stressing them out and is driving them crazy. This is someone who wants to release the past if they don't want to be judged. This is why they're being flaky. They're being flaking and using someone else for resources or even sex. This is disappointing for you because you you would rather it this that this energy would just grow. So you could be protecting yourself, keeping safe, stacking your coins because this energy is heartless. You have to let go. For some of you, you had to let go and 
simply not care just to keep your sanity now you may be at a point where you're not wanting to open up you're setting boundaries many of you are setting boundaries to heal yet I sense this energy is still in pain over ghosting you someone regrets the, the things they have done because now they feel like they're dealing with low vibrational energies they feel like there's a separation of souls and there's a, a deep sense of regret for it. Um, this is someone who is definitely still stuck on you, but many of you feel like this energy is hot and cold, stubborn, a pathological liar. Many of you feel like this energy needs to seek some type of help other than yours. This energy is coming out as distorted. Not thinking from a very clear space. This energy is definitely stubborn and possibly even bipolar. Please take it how it resonates with your message. That it's not for everyone, but this energy is definitely holding back a lot and afraid that you're going to find the new you. I feel for many of you, you are stepping into a new space, a new space in life, a new space mentally, spiritually. This is an abundance where many are having a scarcity of blessings or, or abundance. You have changed greatly. But I feel haters are going to hate. These are energies that are upset that you're focused on self. And someone may be tired of being a groupie. Hmm tired of the groupies or are tired of being a groupie being attached to a groupie hmm. Hmm. so someone's stressed out because of you this is someone you're not attached to this is someone you don't even know and if you do know this person this is barely you don't even really want to get to know this energy this energy is coming out as a groupie this energy is stressed out insecure and paranoid about you they're tired of the position that they're holding with someone else. This energy is watching you and wanting to be with you. And this energy is tired of being stressed out by being compared to you. Someone feels like they're a loser compared to you. And this energy is letting them know every step of the way. Someone is comparing them to you and is stressing them out. Someone cannot compare. Someone's tired of being second best. Someone's also guilty, guilty of wanting to spin the block. So I definitely feel someone is watching, paranoid about you. When you have already turned your back or you're no longer interested, someone is still thinking that you're a part of something that you're not. Someone is wanting to send hate your way. This could be a message or, or just the evil eye, but someone also realizes it just might be risky business bothering you. So this energy is choosing to move in silence. This energy is moving in silence, wanting to send hate your way. They feel compared in some type of way. This energy is miserable and they're coming out as a third party. This third party feels finessed. Finessed by someone who is seeking pleasure from others in many ways. So this is why they're giving you the side eye. But in so many ways, you're just, you're not even interested. I feel like this energy doesn't even realize how unbothered you are. Especially when it's involving a professional ghoster. This energy, this third party is feeling demoralized. This energy is feeling some type of way, not just because of you, but how they're being treated by someone they want desperately. But I also feel what goes around definitely comes around because this third party is now realizing there's a thin line between love and hate. There's some mind games going on here. Someone's having some type of panic, panic attack, but someone is definitely being fake with someone they now see as a dark attachment. There's a lot of jealousy. Someone is wanting to have rags to riches energy here. But I also feel someone could be sleeping on the couch, not wanting to be attached to a dark energy criminal mindset someone is wanting to break free someone is losing money and also self-centered someone is definitely in a very dark headspace here why i'm sensing 
something unexpected is brewing, as well as turning in your favor. I sense something could be turning in your favor as a situation has imploded. Things are obviously miserable within a situation that was meant to distress or delay or even destroy you. But I definitely feel it seems like hmm, something was returned to sender. Whatever hate someone was trying to send your way was returned tenfold. Hmm, seems to me hmm, whatever was supposed to destroy you taught someone else a more valuable lesson instead. Because this energy is completely miserable. That someone is wanting to spin the block and get your attention. Wow. And they're tired of being the groupie, the outsider. Holy Spirit, what is the messages here? Yeah, this is weirdo energy. For someone who is simply lost and confused in a situation that should be resolved or done, completed by now. But someone is not wanting to let go. Instead, they're doing whatever it takes to keep what is already broken. As I said before, this is weirdo energy. Someone is being very weird about a situation where there's a lot of lies and a lot of games. I feel there's a lot of lies in a situation where someone is feeling vulnerable and also keeping a grudge. Someone is holding a grudge against uh, male energy. This is a karmic energy as well. Someone feels like someone else is just as toxic as they are. This is a relationship that is very toxic and there's a lot of issues, a lot of arguments, a lot of regret. There's a third party here who is also, as I said before, they sent some hate. Whether it's your way or anyone's way, whatever it was, it was sent right back to them. This energy is coming out as distorted because they don't want to get be given back to the streets. This energy is sitting in a space of revenge. Hmm. Someone doesn't like the fact that you are being seen as the missing piece. Someone doesn't like the fact that you hold so much weight in someone's heart. It's breaking them down, it's keeping them distorted, and it's making them angry. I feel this third party is wanting to assassinate someone's character. I feel their target it may be a masculine energy, and I feel they're also about to do it with no regrets. Someone's about to spill the tea. And they're pouring gas fuel all over it, and someone's about to light it. I feel someone's targeting a male energy, yeah. And they're about to light the flames. Hmm. This is coming out as a crisis for someone who is always leaving something to mystery. There's no solid foundation in this situation. The fact that you have lost interest is also keeping someone in a very dark space. But I feel someone should look closer when it comes to someone who's taking everything from them. Mental, physically, spiritually. There's a lot being taken away or just being played with or left behind. I feel this is related to a third party who seems to be somewhat of a key player in a situation here where things are going left or things are just not right. Let's get some more energy here. Yeah, this is definitely involving a third party who seems to be a big part of a, a situation. This third party is feeling like you're the biggest obstacle. Hmm. I feel like this third party somehow feels overshadowed by you because they're wanting to make some type of point here. I feel like this third party is, is wanting full devotion and attention and they're just not getting it. And they feel you're, you're standing in their way. Even if you no longer value this situation or even if you're no longer in the picture, they're clearly realizing they can't keep someone from thinking or missing you. As it seems, they're slowly focused on revealing all 
and betraying someone's trust, betraying anyone, anything that stands in their way as they are targeting something. I feel like the key goal here is to prevent the two of you from reconnecting or resolving their, your issues. But I also feel there could be a lot of devastation when dealing with someone who is lost and confused. I feel like this is someone who really doesn't have much to lose. And I also feel they could be very devastated if the energy that they're desperate to keep finally took the leap towards you. Let's get some energy on this Holy Spirit. What are the messages here? What are the messages here for the collective energies? Yeah, someone didn't see it coming. Wow. They're trying to work something out, but there's a lot going on about this connection that needs to be said. So I definitely feel someone is going back and forth when it comes to you. This could be third party energy or someone who feels they have lost your attention, but someone is about to set a fire, state their claim, and they didn't see something coming. Someone didn't see it coming. This could be the third party or even you, but I feel when it comes to your energy, you're heavily protected and someone is about to find that out the hard way. Someone is not seeing the truth when it comes to you. And for some of you, someone could even be driving past your house. Hmm. Knowing they screwed up. Wow. Wow, someone is definitely trying to make plans here. Someone is super distorted, not seeing a truth about a situation. Someone doesn't want to make it work anymore. They want to take a step back. They don't even want to have a deep conversation about it. They're stolen money or someone asking for money. And someone could be sleeping on the couch. Wow, someone didn't see it coming, but the spark is gone. Things are falling apart and someone is always tripping. This is narcissist energy, narcissist behavior. And someone is being very calculating about a situation that cannot be fixed. Someone knows something can't be fixed, but they're still pushing forward here. Someone is wanting to walk away, but they can't seem to break loose. It was all about, supposed to be about the resources, the sex, but it only made things worse. Someone's always drinking. And there's no closure. Someone doesn't want to make this work. They can't even be friends because this energy is too crazy. They feel like they're going to have to be 10 steps ahead and protect their energy. Because they're not longer wanting to be in this situation. Someone is definitely feeling like they should walk away, run away. But there's no running from this. This is a hot mess. Wow. Someone realizes they should have never taken the steps that they take and they took. Because something won't be so easy. Something is not easily fixed. And someone is definitely unmotivated to have a heart to heart. This is narcissist behavior where someone is trying to get away with something and it just won't work. Third party is definitely more diabolical. Mm. So for many of you, I feel this third party sees something coming and they are not wanting to, to turn against them, go against them. So they're doing some things out of strategy. This is definitely narcissist behavior. Someone is feeling like something has been taken from them. Let's get some more energy here. Yeah, someone's definitely in the energy of feeling like they cannot sh shake something or someone loose. And someone is definitely the cheating type. Wow, there's no trust within this third party relationship and it can't be fixed. And someone's about to learn this in a very, very harsh way. And someone is already making plans or these plans are already set into play. For many of you, this third party is willing to do anything. This energy is willing to do anything, say anything, because they are afraid to lose the connection that they have. 
There's a lot of crying. But I also feel this crying is just to manipulate the situation even more. Someone is not wanting to let go, not realizing that it can't be fixed. Someone's about to break loose regardless. And I feel there's already tension, there's already war, there's already conflict and arguments because someone's breaking stuff. There's even holes in the wall. I feel there's a lot of troubles ahead within this situation because someone is being very hard-headed when it comes to a situation that is already torn apart, broken, miserable. But I also feel there are hard lessons to be learned. Yeah, this third party is definitely pretending not to see something. They're pretending like something never happened, but it's only creating more bad karma. Because it will never be perfect. It will never be the way they want it to be. And their head's in the clouds about it. I feel like this person's head is in the clouds. And they're wanting to force something to work. But the more they try to force this to work, the more lessons there is to learn. I definitely feel there is troubles ahead. There's a lot. Um, there's a lot of tower moments. There's a lot of destruction and tornadoes headed someone's way. But I also feel it goes both ways with these two toxic energies, because someone is always toying with the other's emotions. Uh, someone knows something is up. This could even be you. If this is your energy, energy you feel it in your soul. Someone is about to hit the wall. Because something is definitely getting worse. Third party doesn't like to hear the truth. The third party doesn't like to hear the truth of the fact that this connection has faded. And it's becoming more overwhelming. Because someone feels they can't lose. Even though they have already lost. But I feel someone's about to learn that truth in the hard way. But they're about to take the lead. Someone's about to take the lead and spill the tea. And trust me, it's someone's up to no good. Someone is up to no good and they're about to show their true colors within a situation. And for many of you, someone needs to be very careful with this energy. Because as I said before, they have nothing to lose. They have nothing to lose within a situation where they feel like they've been broken down, torn apart. But I also feel someone doesn't like to feel tied down. Someone is not wanting to change. Someone is definitely lost in direction. And many of you have cut ties because of it. Many of you are not wanting to deal with the toxic situation that is attached to someone else. And this is why someone is standing alone. Let's get one more energy. Well, one more day. Holy Spirit, what are the final messages here? So I definitely feel like whoever this is within this third party who is wanting to keep this other energy at bay, they're aware of something. They're aware that something is about to take place, but they're not aware that it's not even involving you. Wow. This is someone with very low values, especially when it comes to money or material things of life. And I also feel someone could be checking someone else's phone or even their DMs or emails but someone is trying to get more information someone is trying to get more information when it comes to another energy I feel like this energy here is wanting to replace someone who they feel is a false represent representation of self a false energy, a false person, someone they now see as a poser. So I'm feeling like this is not the third party. This could be the third party, but I also feel this is someone who wants your attention. This is someone who has been in your energy before, not the third party, but this could be a karmic male. Well, hmm. someone is definitely dealing with the poser, regardless of the fact they're wanting to replace them. Someone is wanting to replace them with you or just hook up with other people, but they're not wanting to deal with this third party anymore. Someone is trying to present themselves as being perfect, Miss Perfect or Mr. Perfect, yet they're simply a poser. 
someone who is able to transform into anything. This energy is looked upon as a frenemy, pretending to be a friend, but plotting against them. So they're trying to avoid them. So I feel like this male energy, which could be female or male, please take it how it resonates with your message. This male is wanting to replace another this third party and they're avoiding them. They didn't want to label something because they knew it wouldn't last. Because they now see this energy as a leech. Someone who is all about the mind games. And this could also be attached to karmic family members or a false environment where there's a lot of betrayal. There's also theft. And someone is completely miserable. Completely miserable and easily triggered. I feel like they're in a situation that is rotten. There could also be an energy here where someone was turned good girl or someone who was good then turned bad. They now need a handout. Someone feels like they're entitled to something. Now they feel like they wasted a lot of time by dealing with a scrub. So someone feels like they should have never taken a chance on a third party. It was only supposed to be temporary, but now they feel they can't get away. There's a lot of mind games, a family attachment here. This is uh, a group of people that shouldn't be in the mix, but they are. These are also leeches. Now they're trying to avoid this situation that has no label. Because they're realizing no one else, no one is perfect. perfect. Let's get some more energy here on this video. Final energy here from the deck. Yeah. Someone is definitely doing some sweet talker energy here. This could be someone who is perceived to be the thief or someone who is playing some serious mind games. I feel like this is someone who is finessing or sweet talking because they want something but I feel like they're, the third party is definitely equally matched here whoever you have separated yourself from this was necessary because these energies was definitely unfocused and whatever they're putting themselves through these are lessons that need to be learned and while these lessons are being learned they have no access to you even if this third party desires to have your attention they have no way to get towards you you're heavily protected from these mind games someone is definitely being ratcheted in a situation and someone's being schooled I feel like there's lessons at hand here when it comes to a karmic situation, karmic connection, third party energy where someone is definitely low vibrational and someone is about to get served some serious karma. Someone doesn't like the fact that they were just a convenient friend or a convenient resource. Someone realizes the mind games that were played on them. Someone was finessing them. They don't like it. Wow. Because being played wasn't on the menu. Now there is money issues and a third party. They're about to be canceled. I feel like there's a lot of arguing within this situation and someone's looking for an opportunity to leave or be disconnected and they're bitter about it. Someone's bitter. Third party is just as bitter and vicious. This third party is about to be very malicious towards this karmic energy even though they care or think they care they're about to do something in a very harsh way to provoke something someone's about to provoke something where there's politics involved this is a po political conflict where there is a different belief system and I feel this energy is trying to provoke something with you Someone's wanting you to react to something that's being said. These are lies. Someone's telling lies because they feel jilted, thrown out in the trash. I feel there's a, a need of caution for someone who is coming out as someone that wants to be trusted. Hmm. There's a sense of caution here. This is a karmic energy. This is a lost third party who's about to resurface. 
someone's about to pop up this is narcissist energy here and I don't feel like they really care who they hurt who they step on yeah this is a third party someone who is viewed as the enemy this is someone who is clearly fed up and they're about to cause some type of confusion and it's going to be diabolical this energy is a very evil person when they want to be and they're just as evil when their heart is broken and as I said before they want to see you do something ridiculous behind something that they say someone wants you to be a follower and they're being very condescending but it's only a waste of time someone is about to have a breakdown a nervous breakdown from from what's about to take place this third party is about to start some trouble but it's only going to be returned to sender someone's about to get that same energy they're putting out and they just might be out of time to get it right someone thought that they were going to get away with something someone thought that they were going to be able to start some type of mess or some type of drama and not have their hands in it like someone is wanting to um throw a rock and hide their hand so what i'm feeling here is this third party is definitely in a space to hurt someone else and they don't care what happens to anyone they're just going to let the chips fall where they may <clears throat> but i don't feel like they're caring about anyone but self which lets me know that both of these two parties here they're aware of each other's motives or the agenda and they're both desperate to have what they want as one is ready to leave while the other is desperate to make things work to make someone stay I feel this is the very reason karma is being served here but unfortunately for this third party they're in the mix as well the karma is being served to them as well let's get some final energy here Holy Spirit, with the final messages. Oh, just caught that. Uh. Yeah, someone is still not listening. There's a lot of commitment issues in a situation, and someone is definitely popping up as a false twin flame. Someone is trying to hold on to something that is definitely broken, lost, keeping the confusion going, and they're just really not caring that it's this bad. Wow. For many of you, this third party knows where this energy's heart is, and it's with you. Hmm. Wow. Yet they're ignoring everything. And since this energy is ignoring everything, as they may see this as a challenge, because from what I can see, I don't see them really giving up. Even when they can see, the chemistry is obviously gone. But I don't feel they care. I don't feel this energy cares how vicious or ugly things get because I don't feel they're planning on going anywhere. So they're withstanding the abuse. They're withstanding the conflict, abuse, and the dysfunction because a third party knows that this other energy is looking for a way out and they're not going to make it easy for them to stray or go back to you. And this is the very reason they shouldn't take this third party for granted. Because I feel there's no telling what links they'll go to prove a point or bring someone else to the same space of misery they're in. As this energy is willing to accept the mistreatment, this third party doesn't care about how they're being treated in a situation or even disrespected. Because as I said before, they're just not going to make it so easy to walk away. It won't be an option. So I definitely feel someone is definitely not listening. There's a lot of commitment issues when it comes to someone who is a false commitment or false twin flame. Someone needs to stop overthinking a situation and change. But for many of you, there's a long journey before they get there because there is a lack of self-worth and someone is still giving into their weaknesses and temptation. And they're drowning in their own desires. Someone is wanting to ask for forgiveness, but they know that you're tired of giving second chances. They know that you know enough not to step back into this connection. And it's not because of the third party. It's because whoever is missing you 
has made their bed and they're going to have to lie in it. I feel like you're not saving anyone from the mistakes that they have made. A cycle needs to be completed and someone is needing to check their own weak boundaries because it's why they're in this mess. I feel someone has weak boundaries when it comes to shedding the old to bring in the new. And that causes many of you to sit this one out. I feel like you could be sitting this out because of someone's twisted ways or twisted ways of thinking, but I also feel they're about to be stripped down. Someone is about to be stripped down because of their attention seeking ways or the fact that they have avoided the truth for so long because they won't be comfortable. Whatever they're about to go through will not be comfortable while they're in the dark. Someone needs more balance and they need to lift the veil and walk away. For many of you, this is a very delicate situation, even intimidating. But someone needs to stop holding back and release the burden. Release the burden of a third party. This is a love triangle, whether this is through family, friends, or a false twin flame. Someone is needing to turn their back. Hmm. And come out of these trapped th thoughts. Someone is definitely suffocating in a situation where they need to give someone the cold shoulder. This is a very intoxicating connection where someone is connected to something that is very toxic and very limiting. Uh, the third party is definitely holding on at all costs. Someone is in fear of you winning when you're not even in the game. You're not even wanting to be approached by this situation at all. You want no parts of it. Yet unfortunately for this third party, they're dealing with a runner. And just like they ran from you, they're about to abandon their issues again. However, I sense when it comes to you, they may receive a roadblock. As you're not wanting to choose or you're not wanting to be chosen out of need. You don't want to be chosen because you're needed or someone's in a bad space. You want to be chosen out of love, which may put someone in a bad space, possibly even stop them in their tracks. Yet, nevertheless, I do see someone approaching you with some type of information. I feel like this could be the third party energy here. I feel this is someone you barely know, but I feel they're about to expose a lot. Not to inform you, yet to infuriate you. Someone is trying to get a reaction no matter what. Someone is wanting to shut something down with the tea that they have or the drama they're about to bring. But I feel like they're going to get a real big surprise when dealing with you. As this energy is wanting to finally burn a bridge or put the final nail in the coffin between you and the one they're desperate to keep. Which I sense is pointless. As many of you have no plans of going back anyways as the peace you have found without them is already priceless. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading.